well, it's that time of year again. If it's May, it must be high school graduation. So uh, I figured I'd take a, a quick video just to show a box I made for my youngest niece. Um, finished it up today. We head to Kansas tomorrow for the graduation on the weekend. So just in time delivery. Um, this was a cool little box. I, you see a little bit uh, curves around all the edges. Let me tip that up a little bit. There we go. Uh, so each of the edges is curved, inset lid, cherry case, uh, babinga panel on the lid or frame on the lid with a, a lace wood panel. I'll zoom out in a minute so we can see that. And then also a, a lacewood keystone right there in the center. Um, has a tray. And then dividers on the inside. The, let's see, I'm not sure how closely we can see the focus it yeah there it'll focus so the the dividers are babinga the the tray is cherry um, and hey it's if it'll focus it's for Laura on her graduation anyway. um, the panel some really nice lacewood figure to it which you know, the pictures don't do justice to but in person it looks really sharp the, the other thing I think you can see here the handle is reinforced There you can see them. There are a couple of little brass rods that run all the way through the handle to mimic the, the hinge pins. And the, the hinge pins are, are visible just barely. Let's see where we can see it. Right there. Get it to focus. Nah, not quite. Oh well. So, all in all, this was a fun little project. I need to get a sharp edge there, it'll focus. And the back, other than the the splines on the edges, doesn't have anything significant going on. Anyway, last niece, last graduation jewelry box. So I figured it was worth a video. Thanks. Hope you like it.